Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm just relaxing with my buddy Doppler out here on the property, and uh, it's a beautiful evening out here, but um, yeah, just relaxing and figured I'd go ahead and do the commentary for day three. So this is the tournament breakdown, day three on Lake Pickwick. Um, day two uh, ended up slipping a little bit from, you know, from the, the fantastic first day that I had. Day two was definitely lackluster ended up with 11 and a half pounds, uh, slid down to 25th place. So after, you know, seeing how tough it got and how few fish ha had actually moved up to spawn, um, you know, I knew that I was pretty much going to have to completely change my strategy going into day three. Now, whether that meant just changing locations and still fishing shallow or fishing a shad spawn deal or fishing offshore, I didn't know going into this day, but we ended up doing pretty much all three of those things and really only one thing ended up producing. So let's go ahead and get started. Day three, Lake Pickwick. Here we go. All right, so this is the only, uh, only fish that I ended up catching anywhere off the bank. Um, this essentially is just a, a, a gravel point that comes out. You know, Pickwick is known for, you know, fish being around those gravel points and, and uh, washouts and things like that. And, uh, and this fish right here, I don't think it was on this cast <laughs> after picking that backlash out. But um, this, this area was essentially just a, a current break off the main river here. And uh, I had found it in practice, but never got to it the first couple days of the tournament. And this is on a chatterbait. Ugly fish, right on that. but I was happy to have them. Yeah, it was like I, I think this was like 10 o'clock right, at this point. I had run a shad spawn deal, <laughs> I had run I'm not you know, some too offshore bad. areas I, and couldn't know, find I, I anything. So I'm, I'm I ended up catching this one today. and ran a few other places after this. And I'm okay but, with that. Um, at around noon, I had to go shallow because I only had that one fish. So I went shallow, but I went to an area that I hadn't been to before in the back of Yellow Creek. And uh, and man, I wish I knew it looked like this in the back of Yellow earlier. I never got to practice back there, but it looked gorgeous. And, but I will say this, I was very, very frustrated. I wasn't fishing very good. I was, uh, you know, I was angry with myself that I had put myself in this position where, you know, I was tumbling down the leaderboard, obviously, um, with one fish, and I really needed to make up some points, you know, get some, some good points in this event. So that's why I ended up going shallow, just kind of to save face and uh, get points. I couldn't even, I mean, I would say one out of three pitches really hit the mark. I was just fishing so terrible at this point. Funny thing is, you know, I, I just ended up making an errant cast out to this, this grass, more or less to get, you know, some of the fluff out of the reel. And we got a good one on. There we go. About time. <laughs> Boom. Good About time. Man, Man good to tell beer. you I was relieved would About be an time. understatement because every single fish oh, meant that I was awesome. climbing the leaderboard, getting more right. points. And that's so important that's this nice. this time of the year. There we go, a few more points. This was a good three plus pounder. What do you want me to put him in at? Let me get a picture of him. Three and a half. Three and a half. Right. Good deal. <laughs> I 
Man, let me tell you, the power poles were the most important tool I had aside from the, you know, the, the tackle that I was using. The power poles really helped me, you know, fish efficiently and, and, uh, and not spook these fish. That was another good fish. I think this was, this one was bigger than the first. All right, now we're getting down to the nitty gritty. We were, we were, you know, we caught several fish that didn't keep. And here's number four. Man, we only had about 45 minutes to go. Go. Four. We're gonna do this thing, man. You are. You got a little beat up tail right there. He's. At this point, before this, I, I, I ended up switching to a chatterbait and ended up catching several fish up until this point, but all of them were non-keepers. And I mean, we were talking about two minutes to go. I think this is two minutes to go right here before we had to, to get back in. Another non-keeper, really super frustrating knowing that you know i'm so close you know i i finally here we go yes there you go number five here we go dude i was so psyched when i got that fifth fish in the boat i was so psyched and i i knew it was a keeper i, I don't even know why i put it on the board but man oh man that was a big moment because that that probably meant Nah, uh, you know 10 spots maybe maybe not that much maybe like six or seven uh, points but that is really really big um you know especially oh, with the slow year I've, I, I've had so far all right guys so that is day three um uh, very very uh much a nail biter uh you know catching that 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 limit fish in the last maybe two casts of the day um so I, I was really happy to to get that fish i ended up moving up one spot so i finished 24th i had almost 13 pounds uh, i think it was 12 14 for for day three so not bad a little bit of an improvement on day two and considering that it was done in the last minute uh, you know, I was pretty happy with the, the outcome overall, but anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, comment below and make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'm going to see you out on the water. Take care.